Well, you know, I, I got involved in climate change because the issue was just staring at me straight in the face. And uh, I came from the private sector. It was a fairly quiet life then. And uh, I joined politics and government with the intent that uh, we could make a difference. I could make a difference. And I think over uh, the, the 12 years that uh, I was in office, uh, we, we did that. And uh, modesty aside, uh, my city, Taguig, became the fastest growing city in the country over that, that period of time. But you know, it, it's, it's not enough. And uh, the sad thing was because the fundamental economic system was broken, you could see that the rich were getting richer and then most of the poor, they get left behind. And so what I tell people is that, you know, if you want to see the problems up close, join politics. But if you want to fix them, you have to leave because not only do you have to fix the problem, you also have to address the broken system. Uh, case in point is Metro Manila. No, I mean, despite all the progress, or maybe because of it, you see Metro Manila as being one of the most polluted and most uh, traffic congested cities in the world. And you know, the top contributor to this uh, pollution and this congestion is also the main uh, means of transport for most Filipinos, the jeepney. They are disorganized, they are dirty, they are inefficient. And in Metro Manila alone, you have over 70,000 of these jeepneys and nationwide it's uh, 300,000. And uh, everyone knows this issue must be addressed, but it's easier to do nothing. So our mission at GET is to replace these jeepneys with a modern 20 passenger zero emission electric vehicle called the Comet. Our goal is to turn electric vehicles from expensive toys for the rich to life-saving solutions for the masses. Uh, think Tesla. Uh, for public transport. That's what we're trying to do. But you know, electric vehicles are also expensive. So by putting a smart media platform uh, on these comments, we're able to deliver a message to a captive audience and, and earn extra revenue on the side, which helps finance this whole thing. Uh, so we become kind of like a Google on wheels. You know, and then we also deploy a fleet and a fair management system so that we transform these com competing and polluting vehicles into the country's first intelligent, organized, and clean uh, transport solution. Uh, we become a community-owned but centrally managed system which will provide a better livelihood for jeepney owners and drivers um, and become an Uber uh, for the masses, if you will. Well, I believe technological innovation coupled with social enterprise can turn the world upside down for the small to rise and for nice guys to finish first. Because at no other time in human history has it been more possible for us to make a difference and change the world. You know, we talk about the solutions to the world's problems, and I believe it will not come from the developed countries. It will come from those places where the problems are greatest and where the people are desperate for a solution. For those of us who see how bad the problems are, uh, we, we have to take the risks. In this case, the risk we take is that we are too early. You know, we, we have spent a lot of money, we have taken more risks, and we have experienced more failures in our three years than most any regular business would. But still, there are people who think that maybe, just maybe, uh, we could be a real solution to all these problems that we face. But you know, we need help. Uh, change is difficult for most, although it is inevitable. The jeepney is 70 years old and it needs to be replaced with something better. But for jeepney drivers to adopt it, uh, they must see something working first before they, they buy into the new system. We need business to support and showcase new and disruptive uh, technologies and solutions. We need leaders to get involved, to come out, and not always to play safe. We need their visibility. We need people to take the word sustainable. Uh, from just being a cash phrase and turn it into a mission and a crusade. We need you to take a serious look at people who are not only building a better product, but I think more importantly, support those who are trying to build a better world.